this is Sonia from my happy space welcome back at my channel today I'm going to work in my scripture writing journal it's sort of a junk journal which I do scripture writing in at the moment I have a series that I take prayers from the Bible and then I document it in there so today I'm going to do a prayer from the New Testament in Matthew 11 it's a very very short prayer of the Lord we'll talk about that later and it's getting quite full but I still have space so I want to use two or three pages today because I'm sort of eager to get finished with this book and make a new junk journal so if I use more than two or three pages then this is one into combined so what my idea is, is to make a hole there make a hole on that side also and then put a nice piece of paper over there and then have a piece of paper where I write my prayer I was thinking of this piece of paper just to write prayer because it's a short um, pray so I might do it like that so it will poke through both of these holes I hope you understand when I do it it will make more sense so I've got this container here which I have sort of all I've sort of junk journaling things in here um, I've got a file here with some printables this printables is mostly from Tiffany Julia or Julia Tiffany I can't remember I'll link a YouTube channel down below she used to give a free printable every month but she doesn't do that anymore as far as I know so I might use I think this card is from here so I might use this card so I set that aside then this is some sort of vintage junk journaling stuff I might use this one to decorate the back of my page the one page then I've got this papers also I think there are just printables free or printables I have bought or I think it might be some of them from um Bloom so I think it might be I'm not 100% sure actually so I might use some of them for the back also I've got these little butterflies I just want to try to use things I'm not normally using and then I've got the stickers which I bought from I think Aliexpress it's the only thing I've ever got from Aliexpress uh, it just took forever to get there and um, South Africa you have to, to um, pay post it's quite a lot of import tax and by the time I've paid that it was not really much cheaper so but it's just almost this wasi tape so I think that's actually going to work well because I can huck it around the circle so these is the type of things I'm going to use I'm going to rummage through this container and see what I'm going to use just to make be able to make use of this also so yeah I'm going to put you on fast forward and then we're going to put this page together Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a hole in this page. Now, this was cardstock, so it's quite a good quality paper. It's not thin. So, I would advise you maybe to do it with a thick quality paper. However, um, the next paper I've actually made the hole in was just an, I think also just a normal copy paper. It wasn't really much thicker than a normal copy paper. So, I've just made a hole in the middle and I'm just gently going around it and sort of tear it as a round circle as you can see there's quite a lot of white axis around it so I'm just going to clear that up and then I'm deciding to make it a little bit bigger because obviously the hole underneath that is going to be smaller and I want to make sure this journey card fits into it okay so now I'm starting with the bottom one it was actually sad to cut into that beautiful flowers but I've just used a pencil to make sure that the hole is the right size so this time I was actually a bit more clever I just cut a hole in the middle and then I cut towards the edge of the circle so I think that is definitely a little bit easier especially if you've got a thinner piece of paper and you're a bit more worried about how big the hole is going to be and you want some control over it so this is how it looks now so I'm just seeing my journaling card with my prayer which I've done off camera is fitting nicely in there now I'm just debating between the, the green and the pink one but I've decided to go for the pink one with the little two birdies on the blossom because my journaling card was also pink I absolutely love this image it is so so adorable and I've decided to cut it out it just looked better to me and I'm very very happy I did that but then I thought I want to cover the back with some hymnals so I'm just going through this old hymnal book which I picked up I was so lucky that I picked it up it's not often that you get these hymnal books with the music notes the hymn which I chose is draw near me O Lord and it sort of went with the prayer now this prayer is in Matthew 11 
verse 25 to 28. And it is after Jesus sent out the 12 disciples to go into um, um, into the towns and preach the gospel. And then he says this prayer in 25, verse 25, it says, At this time Jesus pray, pray, prayed this prayer, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, thank you for hiding these things from those who think themselves wise and clever, and for revealing them to the children. Yes, Father, it please you to do this way. And that is such a beautiful prayer and for me, and it just reminds me yet again that we need to be like children when we need to accept the gospel. Um, we cannot think of ourselves wise, thinking we've earned our salvation. We can sort our things out. We are clever enough. We are our own little gods. We need to have that childlike dependence on the, on the Lord and to say, Lord, I need you. I cannot enter heaven without your help. I need to rest on your salvation. Like that thief on the cross who just said, Lord, Lord, please think of me today when I, you go get into your kingdom. He was just humble. He said, Lord, I need you. I need you today when I die. So this is such a beautiful reminder um, to me. Just quickly back to the artwork. As you can see, I've etched all the, the etches of the circles just to make it pop out a little bit. It's sort of vintage brown. I won't say distress oxide ink, but it's something like that um, I've done it with. Um, and I think that sort of makes it pop out a little bit. And now I'm going through these flowers, which I, as I said, got from Ali Express. Now, Ali Express is almost the, the eastern version of, I would say, maybe Amazon or something like that. But as I said, it is very affordable, but it takes forever to get um, to your destination. And also, as I said, with the import tax from South Africa, I just thought, no, it's not really worth it. Um, I rather just wait till I can find something here. Yeah. It's not always that I, you can find something like this here in South Africa, but um, sometimes I'm lucky enough to find it. Um, so, But I love these flowers. They're very nice. They're just extremely difficult to get them off the, the washi tape or the, the sticky tape at the back. Um, obviously, I can't cut that all out. <laughs> I was struggling so much, but I think if your nails is a bit longer, you might be um, a bit more successful. So as you can see, I'm just hugging these flowers around these circles. So what I've done is when I took the backing off, I left the sort of the side of the backing on when I know it's going to overlap with the circle. So obviously, so I don't close the circle with the, the stickiness of this washi tape. And I hope that makes sense. I think ideally this would be just to put these pages on top of each other so these holes or these um window just poke through but because i've got a journaling card at the back and i obviously want to read the prayer fully pray i i didn't stuck my pages together i just left it open so that is why i had to sort of make sure that when i put the flowers and things on that that sticky bits or i need to cut it off but then later as i said i got a little bit more clever i kept the sticky bit of the washi tape on when I overlapped it, or I even cut the bit off which is overlapping in the circle. I must say, I love how this turned out. It is so vintage and it's beautiful, um, and that um, um, butterflies also look so, so cute. Um, just to get back to the verse um, I was thinking, this reminded me also of Psalm 19, verse 7. It says, The instructions of the Lord are perfect, reviving the soul. The decrees of the Lord are trustworthy, worthy, making wise the simple. This is also just a reminder when the gospel is for those who, who just admit the fact that they need the Lord. And if you admit that, you will become wise. You will be much wiser than whatever the world can offer you. Whatever wisdom the world can offer you, you are ten times wiser because you've got the spirit of the Lord inside you. Now, in the meantime, I thought I'm going to put some word 30 um, sort of also there just to give it a nice little sort of finishing touch. And this word 30, I think, is from Illustrated Faith. So I must say, I really love how this turned out. It turned out much nicer um, than I thought it's going to be. I didn't really um, was thinking how it's going to end up, if it's going to be successful. But yeah, I really encourage you to try something like this out. It's such a fun entry in your junk journal. It's probably not perfect to do in your Bible. I can't see that we want to cut some holes in our Bible. But in a junk journal or any sort of journaling book, it will be fun to do something like that. 
so if you like this video i'd really appreciate it if you give it a like if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so i'd love to have you as part of this family um leave me comments tell me um I'd, i love to hear the comments from you guys just even if you just say hello um sometimes i i would love to know who's watching actually my videos and if you're a regular watcher but you never really comment leave me a comment down below i'd love to hear from you i'd love to get to know you um i've got obviously my regular comments with people comments which i'm so happy with i am love to hear from you guys all but i'd love to hear from new people so yeah you must have a fantastic um week and um i'll talk to you god willing on friday bye bye